Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanted to share with you guys a mini haul that I got today from the flea market and the thrift store, which I haven't had a haul this good in a long time. I woke up this morning and I was feeling good, like I was feeling good vibes, and I told my husband, I wanna go to the flea market this morning because I got a good feeling about it. And he said, well, what do you wanna find? And I said, well, I wanna find animators mini dolls disney animators mini dolls and i would like to find american girl molly's trunk because molly's trunk is something i've been looking for well here's what i found today so i'm going to go through it all with you guys and show you what i found what i paid for it and talk a little bit about it we're going to start over here with this beautiful young lady this is keisha from the magic attic club and she is one of the harder to find magic attic dolls i got her for five bucks complete with this equestrian outfit now i'm not sure which uh who the equestrian outfit actually belongs to let me look and see if there's any i don't see any tags inside of it so there's no telling where the outfit actually came from i don't think it's a magic attic outfit i think it's probably one that was just found and put on but you can see she's very loose very very loose so she'll need to be restrung but if you've been here on my channel for a while you know i actually have a magic attic restringing video here so i know how to do that really really happy about this i'm going to keep her for my personal collection because i have two other magic attic dolls and i think they're really beautiful the faces were sculpted by robert tonner and she's in really good condition so i'm really happy um you know other than her being loose i'm really happy with this find today i think it was a really really good find for me so this was flea market five bucks next up i found a disney's tiny kingdom rabbit now tiny kingdom i want to say this was the late 90s but it might have been the early 2000s i bought a couple of these there is nothing like 90s disney store stuff to me i love it so much because going to the disney store um, when I was young, I mean, even now it's magical, but back when they used to have, the stores are totally different now than what they used to be, but back when they had artwork in there and they had the big characters and stuff like that, going to the Disney store was such a huge treat. And I bought several of these Tiny Kingdom ones. I have a Peter Pan and a Tinkerbell somewhere. Got this one for a dollar. So I saw it in the box. I could not resist. I had to have it. I think they're late 90s, but like I said, it could be early 2000s um because i think i was a little bit older when i got them but really excited about this one now what did i tell my husband i wanted today mini animator stalls so the good vibes were definitely on point because i got a mini moana today and she even has her little hair clip the cool thing about moana is she doesn't have shoes so <laughs> the dolls are never missing their shoes when you get moana because she doesn't have shoes so she's got her um, little outfit and her little hair clip her hair i don't think it's been cut but maybe it has been i don't really know what's going on with that but anyway she was too dollars so i was willing to get her for that I, i'll have to research about how her hair was supposed to look um but it looks really cute to me even if it has been cut so i'm not sure but you know there's moana two dollar moana next up is something very exciting this is a sad eye susie doll and y'all i've only ever found one other of these dolls in my whole life and the one i found before had brown hair and she had the rain jacket on, like I think they call that the slicker Susie. And I found this one, she was $3. She was actually $5, but her little toes are chewed off. So you can see this one foot's got chewed toes. She's very, very filthy, nasty, dirty. So I told the guy, since her toes are chewed off, will you take three? And he said, yes. That's what's so much fun about the flea market is getting to make a bargain. I'm not sure if this dress is original or not. It is glued onto her body, which at first I thought that it was definitely not original, but it's actually glued on like this. So part of me is starting to think that it is original, um, but she needs a lot of work. Her hair is, um, it looks to all be intact. I don't know if her bangs have been given a rough cut or if that's just the way that they look from the factory, but she is filthy. And when I say filthy, I mean absolutely filthy the dirty nasty so she needs to be really cleaned up but i'm excited about that because the first time i found a susie sad eyes i paid a quarter for her but i resold her because i really needed the money at the time for other dolly endeavors um but this one's going to be a keeper for me so it's really cool that i was able to find her 
After we left the flea market, we hit up a few local Goodwills because my husband, I like to go to Goodwill too, but my husband usually has better luck at Goodwills because he likes old records and stuff. And look what I found at Goodwill. I found not one, but two American Girl dolls. Now I had specifically said that I wanted Molly's trunk, but I found Molly instead. That's not a bad substitution. So the two things that I left the house saying I wanted, I found one of for sure, and I found a really good substitution for the other. Now this is gonna be a Molly the Kingslayer because um, as you can see, she has lost her hand defending the honor of Brienne, but that is okay. She has been, she was $3, so $2.99 for her. That does not bother me. She also still has her thumb. So since she has her thumb, it will be easy for me to put a glove on this hand and that can just be um, really cute. Like she'll just have a glove cause she'll, you know, whatever, she's missing her hand. And she does have some dog teeth marks in her face. So, you know, but still, she was worth $2.99, um, definitely worth the rescue. This is an older Pleasant Company doll as well. She's got, and the reason that you know she's Molly and she's not um, one of the other dolls with gray eyes is that when you flip her around and you check her wig, you can see she's got the short hairs in the back and that's where, you know, she had her pigtails and braids. Um, and so she's got those short hairs that are the braids. But I think she'll clean up and she'll be really cute. And again, totally worth the $3 adoption fee to bring her home and it'll be a really nice project. I also found Felicity and y'all, this is a very early Felicity. If she's not one of the first Felicities that came out, she's very, very early and I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna close her eyes here. And what you're gonna see, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but she has the reddish eyelashes. So they did not do that for a super long amount of time, given Felicity the reddish eyelashes. You know, after a while, they all switched them all to black eyelashes, but she has those soft reddish eyelashes. So she is an earlier doll. Her wig is in terrible condition. Um, I can't tell, like when you look at it, it looks like they tried to glue it back down and they like glued under her part. So, you know, you can see it's just kind of coming up and, you know, it's really a mess, but I'm going to try my best to get this cleaned up and it's very bald. You can see how bald it is in the back. These dolls were very, very well loved by their previous owners, but I love dolls like that. Dolls with a story that have obviously been loved and part of the, one of the big satisfying things for me is to take one of these dolls and fix them up and bring them back to their former glory. Now, I don't know if I'll end up keeping both of these American Girl dolls or not. Um, I may try to trade them. Like if somebody's got a Molly trunk and you want to trade Molly's trunk for a Felicity and a Molly, hit me up because that would be a great trade for me um, since that's something I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, so they both have the long neck strings and they're both marked Pleasant Company. So, you know, not the best condition, like I said, but definitely a fun project to work on getting them cleaned up. The dresses they came in are absolutely horrifying. They'll, they'll probably go right back to the Goodwill, but you know, I'm really, real for $2.99 each, like you can't beat that for two Pleasant Company girls with the soft eyelashes and the squishy vinyl. I just love the squishy vinyl. Um, and this is, you know, like I said, an early Felicity because she's got those um, red eyelashes. So that's the really cool thing about doll collecting is even if you don't have a lot of money, so total, let's see, this was six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, $17 in total that I spent today. And these are all items that I'm planning on probably keeping for my personal collection. The American Girls, like I said, I may try to work out a trade for them. Um, but if not, I'll probably, I'll probably keep them because I don't like to sell things that are, you know, that have been in this rough of condition because you, that it's really tough to, for some people to understand. And when you make that disclosure, like, Hey, this doll's been through it. But you know, those of you who are watching my channel, somebody's got a Molly trunk and you want to trade for both of these. I don't care what condition it's in, but anyway, so that being said, that's, this is one of the things like I used to do a long time ago. Um, 
is I used to do a lot of flea market and, and, and yard sales and thrift stores and that's how I funded my collection. I'd find things like this and then like I told you the story about Susie Sad Eyes or Sad Eyes Susie, I sold the one I found and I used that to fund a different doll that I wanted. Um, but now these, I kind of really like them for my personal collection. Truth be told, with the Felicity doll and the American Girls in general, if I had unlimited space, I would keep all of the ones that I found and I'd use them to model the different outfits because the Pleasant Company outfits are amazing. So what did I pass up today? I did find a Chrissy doll that I passed up because she smelled terrible. She smelled like pure cigarette smoke. There was a booth that had American Girl dolls, but they were $50 each and $50. When I go to the flea market, I go for flea market prices. I don't go for eBay prices, so I don't want to pay an eBay price for something at the flea market, and so I passed on those. I went to another booth, one of my favorite booths actually, the booth that I got the Moana at, he had a pair of Biddy twins. He wanted $100 for the pair, and I was like, e and then he had a Samantha, fully dressed in her original outfit, um, older Pleasant Company Samantha, not a white body, and he wanted $70 for her, and I was like, whoa, dude, no way. So I passed up on those things, but they are things that I looked at and I asked about. But anyway, I feel like I did really well today. I woke up and I, I just felt that good energy. Do you ever wake up and just feel good energy? That's how I felt, and I had a great day today. I'm so happy with these things. These are gonna be some projects for me to work on and get cleaned up, but I'm, that's really satisfying to me. Like I said, I love, love, love a doll that has really been loved and then bringing her back to life is just, it just gives me a level of satisfaction that really nothing else does. It's a different sort of satisfaction. It just feels so good. So anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what's your favorite flea market or thrift store or yard sale find that you've ever had. And of these, which is your favorite? What do you like the best? So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S., Leah W., Jenny C., Doreen Z., Janice H., Mercedes W., Angela E., Cindy K., Bear Sunflower, Diane B., and Kelly L. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. To find out how you can help support this channel, be sure to check the link in the description of this video. Thank you.